Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make a Ready Player Me avatar for VRChat. First we're going to go to readyplayer.me. That takes you here. And we're going to create avatar by pressing there. You can choose masculine, feminine, don't specify, or sign in if you already have an account. Now you can use a photo of yourself. You can take a photo of yourself automatically if you have a camera. You can pick a file or you can continue without a photo. And I'm going to pick a file. You can take one of your SL, avatar, or whatever you want. Or use a real picture. <clears throat> then it will make an avatar that resembles the face picture that you uploaded or it'll give you a generic one. There you go. And you can change different things about the face here. Mouth, colors, eyes, all that stuff. If you're happy with it, you can go down here and change the color of the skin. Change the color, or change the details. Here you can pick an outfit. Let's choose a simple one. Oh, I kind of like that. It's flashy. And you can choose hair. You can give him glasses, makeup, hats, all this crap down here. Change his clothes. Once you got him to the point you like him, click Enter Hub. And there he is. He's ready to go. Now what you can do is you can either download it here, but we don't want to do that. We want to connect it with an app. And it, all you have to do is scroll through over here on the right, and it's always going to be over here, I'm pretty sure. It says VR Chat. So you click View App, Connect Avatar. Now we have to sign up for uh, Ready Player Me. So you enter your email, your password, and repeat your password, but I already have an account. So, all right, looks like you have to go back again and find VR chat. Okay, so it's not on the right, like I said. Explore more apps. VR chat, there it is. Avatar connected. Once you um, press this button, I've already connected my avatars, so it'll ask you to log in with your VR chat credentials. And you put that information in, and it'll say this too Avatar connected. And then you import to VR chat. Click that button. Log in. Oops, wait a minute. An application would like to connect to your account. Yes. We are preparing your avatar. Your avatar will appear in the other list in VRChat and not in their on their online platform. Due to high demand, it may take up to 10 minutes. The swindle will automatically direct you to VRChat in 5, 4, 3, 
two, and one. There you go. Now, once it is complete, it will show up in your uh, VR chat menu. One extra step I'd like to mention, if you have more than one avatar that you want to use with VR chat, there's an extra step. You need to go to my avatars. I have lots of different programs that I use. Just look for the uh, VR chat section. All right, and then click on create a new avatar. And you'll be given a choice of all the different avatars you've created and you can choose it and link it to VR chat as I've done here. Then when you go to the VR chat, you'll be able to import it. All right, so here we are back in our VR chat home and we've already uploaded our uh, Ready Player Me avatar, so we're gonna hit the escape key. I'm in uh, desktop mode. Um, so there's the escape key, we got the menu, we click on avatars, and then we're going to click on, we have to scroll down and look for other. We click on other, and there it is, the Ready Player Me avatar we uploaded with the fancy clothes. Let me change into it, hit escape, and look at that. Woohoo! We're looking good. <laughs> so there you have it. That's how you get a Ready Player Me avatar in VR Chat, and then you can use it as your primary avatar. Pretty cool, huh? There's a whole bunch of avatar worlds you can go to explore. Um, there's even some uh, here that you can go. You just click on these portals, and you can go to them. And uh, so there's lots of different avatars you can try uh, and favorite them. If as long as you favorite them, I'll show you that. You escape, hit avatars, and whichever one you're wearing, there's a favorite button underneath, and you can click favorite, and then it'll be in one of these uh, menus, and it'll always stay there. So if you go and find an avatar somewhere and you try it on, as long as you press favorite, it'll stay in your list. Otherwise, you have to go back and get it again. So, good to know. But your Ready Player Me avatar will stay in your other folder forever and ever. Alright, so there you have it. Hope that's helpful.